This watercolor painting depicts a process known in the steel industry as teaming ingots. What basically is going on here is a ladle would um, be filled with hot metal. The hot metal would uh, come out and go into an ingot mold here. Um, an ingot is basically a, uh, it's about five feet tall and weighs about 20 tons. The painting, titled Ladle Number no. 1, was created by Calvin M. Strobel Jr. in 1992. It's one of eight works of art featured in a temporary exhibit at the Youngstown Historical Center of Industry and Labor, entitled The Art of Steel. What we wanted to do was highlight some of the uh, art, artwork that is here in the uh, museum's collection. The exhibit was curated by recent YSU graduate Amber Tisdale to fulfill the requirements for her Master of Arts in American Studies. I tried to highlight as many aspects of the steel industry as I could. I tried to highlight as many artists as I could and I tried to get as many mediums as I could. Accompanying each piece of art in the exhibit is a black and white historical photo. They were taken by photographers from the former William B. Pollock Company. The William B. Pollock Company actually made furnaces. They made any parts of the mills, um, the stacks um, they made. The uh, black and white photo has some aspect of what's going on in the painting. One of the things I'd like to point out about this painting is that he did um, include a worker that shows just how massive all these different elements in the steel mills were. What I chose to illustrate was when ingots were teamed, the hot metal came out of a hole in the bottom of the ladle, and you can see the outline of the hole here. This also, um, you can see on the right, is a worker, but again, to just to illustrate how massive these things were. All of the paintings in the exhibit were created by local artists in the 1980s and 90s. We've got some artists that are self-taught, uh, some artists that worked in the mills, but then we have artists who have degrees in art. So we have differing backgrounds. One of the more unique pieces in the collection is this scene painted on a handsaw, which shows the steel making process from beginning to end. The work was created by George Richardson in 1990. He began painting after his retirement from the Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company in 1975. Painting on canvas got a little too expensive, um, so he started painting um, on whatever he could find. And um, this saw is one of them. The black and white photo has been constructing the top part of a furnace. Put this in here to sort of, again, bring out the human element, that there were people not only that worked um, to make the steel, but that also had to build the furnaces. Another painting in the exhibit was created by Carmen Fortunato in 1989 and features the Jeanette Furnace. Some people might be familiar with the Jeanette Furnace because of the Bruce Springsteen song, Young Sound, which references Sweet Jenning. This is called East Yard. Uh, it is uh, oil on canvas. I researched a little bit, and this is Briar Hill. And we know that this is Briar Hill because of the uh, positioning of the, the furnace and the stoves. The photo that accompanies it, circa about 1910, is of the Republic Steel Corporation. The exhibit will be on display inside the Senator Harry Michelle classroom now through September. The museum is open Wednesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Saturday from noon to 4 p.m. All of these artists are local. And so I think being from Youngstown and the steel mills closing in somewhat recent memory, they wanted to commemorate and remember what Youngstown was. Or sometimes maybe, as in the case of George Richardson, what he did, this is what he knew. He worked in the mills. But I, I think that just being from Youngstown even now 
um, a lot of people do know about the steel mills and what that represented and still want to want to somewhat keep that alive. I think that they just um, wanted to remember where they came from. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.